The Google Drive is a resource provided to you for free as a Germana student and is a crucial part of the Google Apps. With Google Drive, you can store information and files on the web, making them easily accessible no matter what computer you are accessing them from. It's also a great collaboration tool, making working with classmates easy and efficient. To access your Google Drive, sign into your MyGCC account and select the My Drive tile on the My Applications page. You can also access your drive and all the other Google Apps programs by selecting the icon with nine dots arranged in a square from your email window. Upon opening, My Drive will be displayed. This is the home page for your personal drive and where all your files will be accessed. You can also organize and alter your drive settings here. In the top left of the window, the drive logo and name are displayed as a clickable icon. When navigating away from My Drive, Clicking the icon will take you back to the default view. At the top of the window is a search bar. This feature can be used to find specific files in your Google Drive. For example, if you are searching for your English bibliography, try searching bibliography to find the file. The right end of the search bar has a button that opens search options that can be used to filter and refine search results if needed. At the top of the window located to the right of the search bar is a gear-shaped icon which is generally used to indicate settings. Typically, various features of a program have different options or settings preset to a default state upon initial use. These types of settings may be adjusted to fit the user's individual preferences. Some settings may improve productivity, determine what events generate a notification to be sent to the user, or simply change the appearance of the account to something more personalized and less utilitarian than the default appearance. In your drive settings, you can manage your storage, change your default language, offline settings, and suggestion settings. You can also manage your notification settings and the apps you have connected to your drive. To the right of My Drive is a button to change the view of your drive. Grid view allows you to see all your files larger and gives you a small preview of what is on that file. List view is a more compact view of your drive where you can view your files in a list. You can quickly view who the owner of a file is, when it was last modified, and the size of the file. The layout of my drive is separated by suggested, folders, and files. If this is your first time using drive, you likely don't see these sections. But as you add files and create folders, Drive will automatically sort them into these sections. Suggested files are files Google Drive thinks you might want to look at. This is based on things like whether you open a certain file at a certain time or whether you open a file frequently. You can manage these suggestions in Settings. To the left of the main Drive workspace are several features. At the very top of this menu list is the New button. This is where you can create new files, folders, or upload files from your computer into your drive. Once you start using Drive more, it's vital to stay organized. Folders make it easy to sort your files in a way that works for you. This may be sorting by semester, class, or year. To create a new folder, click Folder under the New drop-down menu. Give your folder a descriptive title, and it will now appear under the Folder section of My Drive. You can view all your folders by clicking the arrow next to My Drive on the left. To create a new file, click the New button again and select the type of file you want to create. The most common file types are Google Docs for papers and Google Slides for slideshow presentations. By clicking the file name, you will create a new blank file. You can also create a file from a template by hovering over the arrow to the right of the document type and selecting From a Template. After you create a file, whether it's a blank file or from a template, it will appear in the Files section of your drive. To move a file into a folder in your drive, click and drag it. You can also right-click, select Move To, and choose the appropriate folder. In Drive, you also have the ability to create documents by uploading files from your computer. You can upload any kind of file onto your Google Drive to store it, working like a physical hard drive built into your web browser. This allows you to access that file on any computer at any time, making it perfect for class presentations where you may be on a different computer than you're used to. 
to upload a file into your drive. Click New and File Upload. Select the file you would like to upload from your computer and select Open. You can upload multiple files by selecting each file and uploading them all at once. If you upload a file with a Google Apps equivalent, Drive will automatically convert it when you open the file in Drive. This allows you to edit Word files in Google Docs or PowerPoint files in Google Slides and not lose any formatting. You can also download Google Files as their appropriate Microsoft counterparts by selecting File and Download when the document is open. To learn more about Google Docs and Slides, watch our tutorial videos in the Google Apps series. The Google Drive is a great collaboration resource. It's easy to share any documents or folders with someone as long as they also have a Google account. To share a document with someone, right-click the document and select Share. Type in the person's email or, if they are a student in the VCCS, you can just type their first name and their email will autofill. You'll want to double check to make sure that you are selecting the right person. Select the type of permission you would like to give this user. By default, they will be an editor. This means they have all editing permissions and can do anything you can do with the file. You can change their permission to be commenter, which only allows them to add comments on the file, or viewer, meaning they can only view your file and nothing else. If needed, type a message so the person knows what they are being sent and click send. The person will receive an email notifying them that something has been shared with them and they will be able to access the file. You can also share a document by sending out the link. This is convenient if you want to share something with multiple people at once. By default, you can only share with other members of the VCCS. If you would like to change this, click the Get Link box and change Restricted to Anyone with a Link. Make sure to edit the permissions so that you don't let random people edit your work. Copy this link and send it to the people who need it. Along with sharing individual documents, you can share entire folders. This is useful when working on group projects with multiple elements. Instead of sharing each part individually, you can share a folder and each new thing created in that folder is automatically shared with all who have access. This also allows people you have shared the folder with to create new files within the folder depending on their permissions. When a document is shared with you, you will get an email notifying you including a link to what has been shared. If you lose that email or delete it, you still have access to that shared file. Everything that has been shared with you will be located in the Shared With Me tab in Drive. You can mark your favorite files in Drive with a star. This allows for easy access by clicking the Starred tab on the menu. When you want to delete a file in your Drive, right-click and select Remove. This will move the file to your trash. Files stay in your trash for up to 30 days. After 30 days, they are deleted permanently and are no longer easily recoverable. To recover something from your trash before it is permanently deleted, right-click and select Restore. This will place the file back in its last known location in your drive. When you are finished using your Google Drive, be sure to log out of your Google account. This is especially important if you are using a public computer or a computer that is not your own. To log out of your Google account, click your profile picture in the upper right corner and select Sign Out. Thank you for watching this video on the Google Drive. Make sure to check out the other videos on the Google Apps. If you still have questions about your Google Drive, visit the Academic Center for Excellence at any of Germana's campuses or visit us online at www.germana.edu forward slash Academic Center for Excellence.